All right, everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to animate polygons in Desmos, which is a pretty cool feature. Polygon feature is one of my favorites uh, in terms of teaching geometry and transformations. Uh, but it's, it can do so much more than that. Uh, you can take your polygon and then have it animate um, along a uh, graph instead of just animating left and right. Or there's any any number of things you can do. So if you know an equation of a, a function, you can get the polygon to follow that function. So let me, I want to walk you through all the steps here and show you how to do all this stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to decide that right there. We'll start with um, a polygon. So let's say f of x equals um, cosine of x. Let's start with something like that. Okay, because that will be a little more interesting. It'll go up and down. So how we do this then is we need to set up points on, um, on that curve. And for purposes, we'll make that a little bit darker. Here we go. So a point is just uh, any point, uh, x and y, but we're going to call it a and f of a. And if you add a slider for a, what's cool about that is you can get a single point riding along that line. And that's cool in itself. There's lots of things you can do with it. Uh, you can hide the line and just have a floating point, which is kind of cool in itself. Uh, but there's so much more you can do with this. So let's pause that for a second. And uh, let's go here. Let's add another expression. And let's, uh, and by the way, you can just do this, copy, paste, and it'll save you some time. If we want to point a little bit to the right, okay, like two units to the right, we go plus two. Um, and then the height, though, is just it's straight over two units. If we want it up with the same thing, then we have to do a plus two. So this is a good way for uh, math, math uh, students to review their um, function notation and stuff like that. So now you have this point, another point two units later. You can put another unit, four units later, five units later, six units later, and have a whole string of points. That's kind of cool. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to create a polygon. So let's go here, go there. Let's copy this one, and or let's just paste the original one. Okay. So if we want to go above this original point, we need to change the height. So we're not going to add to the f of a. We're going to add at the end of f of a. So add three. So that will be three units above f of a. Okay. Actually, let's do it two. So everything was two units. Just gave everything two units away. Okay. Uh, let's go here. Let's add another point, and let's call that. Uh, we want it where this purple one was. That purple one right there. So I'm going to copy this, paste it, and now I want it two units higher. So this is the x coordinate. Is actually a plus two. This is the y coordinate. F of a plus two. I'm going to add an extra two on top. Not twenty two. Okay. So now we have all these points. So, and now when we animate them, watch this. Oh, there's our animation. They'll all go together. They all sort of slide together. All right, so it's kind of cool. Got a little parallelogram shape here. It stretches a little bit, uh, which is kind of cool. But they all stay together because they're all based on the movement of A. And so you can slide A and have it drag. Or you can actually grab individual points and move them by the individual points. So it's kind of cool that you have that feature. Now. Last thing to do is connect them all. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is label all these. So the first one is called P1, and call that P1. Call this one P2 equals that. Uh, P3 equals that, and I think P4 equals that. And let's go down here. Let's write polygon. Just type polygon, and it knows you're going to use the polygon function. You're going to connect P1 to P2 to P3, P4. All right, now it did not do what I thought, and that's, that's my fault, sort of. Um, so what we should have done, maybe I didn't go in the right order here. Uh, it looks like we went from um, 1 up to the, let's see. Let me think about this for a second. So basically what it went is 1 and then 2. And since this was technically our third point and then our fourth point, uh, it went in that order. 1, 2, 3, 4. I should, have laid, I should have been more careful when doing it. We can fix that by changing point 3 and point 4 here. And there it goes. Okay. So now when you press play, you get to animate the whole shape. All right. Kind of cool. Little feature you can do. Uh, last little things here. Let's take off the points. Point point and we'll take out the corner and just leave that and if you want you can hide the actual original equation press play 
And now you've got this dancing parallelogram. One other really neat feature I like is the fact that you can take out the grid, you can take out the XY axis, and now you just got a dancing polygon, and it's, it's uh, not clear that it was ever made with the Desmos. You can do all kinds of animations like this, and once you take out the graphs, um, no one will ever know you used a graphing um, utility to do this. So that's one way to do this. Um, let's do one more thing before um, I wrap up this video here. That's for cosine of x. Okay, so there's our curve. Let me, uh, in fact, let's do one thing in case I haven't showed you this feature yet. Let's add a folder. Because uh, that way we can just get all these points into the folder. You just drag them over. It's just little things are nice to clean up just so you're, you can scroll through your stuff easier. Oh, and we'll put points for polygon. Okay, so we got that. Uh, what I want to show you here is if we change this just to cosine, or from cosine of x just to x, that's just a straight line. And there you go, now your thing is animated along the straight line. And to help, let's put the x-axis, y-axis here. Okay, so now it's along that. You say, oh, whoops, I want it going the other direction. Just change one, one thing, and you got it now going the other direction. Okay. And there's so much you can do with this. Uh, that's just, you know, the, you could layer more and more uh, polygons. So much you can do. Um, let's just do one more thing. Let's go ahead and change this to a x squared, you'll notice. What's kind of cool is once you get to a parabola, it really starts stretching. And then you can talk about that and talk about the students. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Hey, let's make it upward parabola. Oh, it's too skinny. Let's make it really wide. And things like that. So lots of stuff you can do, and you can have it sort of sliding around here and things like that. All right, so have fun with it. There's so much you can do. And uh, come back to this video. The key things here, uh, this notation here, A and F of A. Okay, um, you could use actual numbers, but by doing A, that allows it to slide, and that's the whole fun of this thing. All right, so have fun with it, and uh, explore, and like I said, once you remove everything, you can create some pretty cool pictures. And the limit is just, uh, you know, your imagination and whatever equations you know. But that's where it gets kind of fun. You can then start, you know, adding extra stuff to this and making it change its path and stuff like that see what stuff does and, you know, get it going all kinds of crazy. All right, have fun with it, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.